Parent for Bell December 13, 1986, is a Canadian professional wrestler, better known by his ring name Michael Elgin. He is signed with Ring of Honor, where he is a former one-time Row World Champion. He also works for the Southern California-based company Pro Wrestling Gorilla, where he is a former one-time PWG World Tag Team Champion with Brian Cage. Frabelle debuted in late 2004 using the ring name Michael Elgin, and by the age of 16 was a regular on the independent circuit. He has competed for promotions including Combat Zone Wrestling, World League Wrestling, Alpha One Wrestling, and the Independent Wrestling Association Mid-South, where he won the IWA Mid-South Strong Style Championship in 2008. In 2005, he began wrestling for BSE Pro, where he won the BSE Tag Team Championship with Ashley Siggs, and Great Canadian Wrestling in 2006, where he won the GCW National Championship twice and the GCW Tag Team Championship twice. Elgin first appeared for Ring of Honor in 2007. He started competing regularly in 2010 as part of the House of Truth, and signed a contract with the company in 2011. That November, Elgin won the 2011 Survival of the Fittest Tournament. Professional Wrestling Career Equals Training and Early Career Equals, Frabelle had begun training at a wrestling school at the age of 14. He later moved to training at Squared Circle Training in Toronto, Ontario, Canada under Rob Fuego in early 2004. In late 2004, Frabelle made his professional wrestling debut in Hamtramck. Michigan using the ring name Michael Elgin. By the age of 16, Frabelle, as Elgin, was a regular competitor on the independent circuit. The Ontario Athletic Commission did not allow people under the age of 18 to wrestle professionally in the area, so Frabelle traveled to Montreal, as well as to the United States to wrestle in the states of Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. Equals independent promotions equals, Frabelle, as Elgin has been a mainstay in several independent promotions, both in the United States and Canada, since 2005. He has wrestled for the Pure Wrestling Association since 2005. That same year, he made two appearances for Empire State Wrestling, and a third in 2009. He made a single appearance for Ultimate Championship Wrestling on November 12, 2005, losing to Alcatraz. He also made a single appearance for World League Wrestling, wrestling at an October 19, 2008 show in a tag team match. In 2011, Elgin appeared at a CRW show, losing a triple threat match to Jake Matthews. Elgin has also made two appearances for Combat Zone Wrestling. He defeated Jay Phoenix at Night of Infamy 5 in 2006 and teamed with Andrew Sullivan to defeat Corey Castle and Danny Pagan at Down With The Sickness Forever in 2008. In 2009, he competed in Independent Wrestling Association, Deep South Southern Classic Invitational Tournament, making it to the three-way final, where he lost to Cryjan Haim. Elgin debuted for Independent Wrestling Association Mid-South in September 2006, at Lethal Lottery 2006, when he and Jason Dukes lost to Ian Rotten and Vito the Mazerly. His next IWA Mid-South appearance was in February 2007, when he and Ryan Ash lost to Blackout. Elgin and Ash continued to team together throughout early 2007, losing to team including the Iron Saints, and Southern Rock before earning their first win against the North Town Dragons at April Blood Showers 2007. The team of Elgin and Ash named themselves the Pretty Unreals, and continued to feud with various members of the North Town Dragons faction, winning several tag team matches against them. At Summer Scorcher in June, the Pretty Unreals suffered their first loss to the North Town Dragons, when they were defeated by Die Hard and Voltex in a tables, ladders and chairs match. After a hiatus, Elgin returned to IWA Mid-South in October as a singles wrestler, wrestling against Drake Younger, Roderick Strong, Eddie Kingston, and Two Cold Scorpio. On March 1, 2008, Elgin defeated Strong, Younger, and Viking in a four-way match to win the vacant IWA Mid-South Strong Style Championship. He successfully defended the championship in a three-way match against Hank and Toby Klein at April Blood Showers 2008, against CJ Otis at Extreme Intentions, against Jimmy Clough at Gory Days 4 in July, 
and against Bobby Fish the following month at Put Up or Shut Up 2008, before losing the championship to Nick Gage at We Are Family 2 on August 17, ending a six-month reign. In September, Elgin was a competitor in the 2008 Ted Petty Invitational, where he defeated Ricochet in the first round, before losing to Younger in the quarterfinals. On March 9, 2009, Elgin unsuccessfully challenged Dingo for the IWA Mid-South Heavyweight Championship at 2009 King of the Death Matches Night 1. Throughout 2009, Elgin formed a semi-regular tag team with Sami Kaulin, and the pair faced teams including Dar Soul Touches and the Michigan Militia of Jeff Brooks and Brian Skyline. Elgin also competes for Alpha One Wrestling, where he won the Alpha One Wrestling Zero Gravity Championship. He competed for Stranglehold Wrestling in 2007. He was a competitor in the first annual Dewey Missing Link Robertson Memorial Tournament in December, making it to the semi-finals before losing to GT Dynamite. Frabelle attended a World Wrestling Entertainment tryout camp in mid-2010. Equals Blood, Sweat and Ears slash BSE Pro equals. At BSE Pro's inaugural show in 2005, Elgin appeared as part of a six-man tag team match. In December of that year, Elgin was part of a suicide six-pack match won by El Sombra. Canadian online explorer writer Bob Kappa called Elgin the breakout performer of the match due to his in-ring abilities and reactions to the crowd. He feuded with Ash in late 2005 and early 2006, losing to him on multiple occasions. In May 2006, Elgin teamed with Anton Arrakis in a tag team loss to Trent Powers and Phil Atlas at a Blood, Sweat and Ears show. He continued to lose throughout 2006 to wrestlers including Cobra Kai and Tarantula Gomez, failing to win a match in the promotion. After a three-year hiatus, Elgin returned to the promotion, now called BSE Pro, in a loss to Josh Taylor on August 16, 2009. At the following show, Devil's Night 2009 in October, Elgin earned his first victory for the promotion by defeating Big Bang Pete. He then formed a regular tag team with Ashley Siggs and the duo faced off against Assault and Battery to win the BSE Tag Team Championship on November 7. They held the championship for two weeks, before dropping it to the All-Starters in a three-way cage match also involving Assault and Battery. Equals Maximum Pro Wrestling equals, in 2010, BSE Pro merged with Border City Wrestling to form Maximum Pro Wrestling, and Elgin began competing for the new promotion. On March 20, Elgin and Siggs lost to Mainabu Sawyer and John Bolan. In May 2010, he and Siggs defeated Black Serpent and Cobra Kai in a tag team match. At return to the Arctic Day 1 in May 2011, Elgin unsuccessfully challenged Tyson Dew for the Max Pro Triple Crown Championship. On September 10, 2011, Elgin defeated Matt Cross. Two weeks later, Elgin lost to Crazy Steve. Equals Great Canadian Wrestling Equals. At reach for the gold on April 13, 2006, Elgin won a ladder match to win the GCW National Championship, and become the inaugural champion. He held the championship for just over a month, before dropping it to TJ Wilson in a triple threat match also involving Shark Boy, at Battleground Zero. At the Super Hardcore Anime Wrestling Expo in May 2006, Elgin won a triple threat match by defeating Wilson and Johnny Devine. Also at the Expo, Elgin regained the GCW National Championship, when he and Mike Stevens defeated Wilson and Devine in a tag team match with the championship on the line. At breaking point on August 10, Devine defeated Elgin for the championship in a lumberjack match. However, Devine was ruled to have won via disqualification and therefore Elgin retained the championship. On September 15, Devine defeated Elgin in a cage match to win the championship. On November 18, 2006, Elgin filled in for the injured GCW Ontario Independent Champion Jake O'Reilly in a title defense against Hayden Avery, but lost the match making Avery the new champion. Elgin and O'Reilly then formed a regular tag team, and on December 28, at season's beatings, they defeated the Lunatics to win the GCW Tag Team Championship. On January 12, 2007, O'Reilly attacked Elgin, 
ending their partnership and causing the GCW Tag Team Championship to be vacated. Two months later, at Ugandan Invasion Algen teamed with Havoc to defeat O'Reilly and Joe During in a match for the vacant championship. Derek Wilder replaced Havoc as the co-champion and Elgin's tag team partner during the reign, after accepting Elgin's offer to team up on April 13. The following night, Elgin and Wilder were defeated by O'Reilly and Krazy Steve in a match for the championship, but the decision was reversed and Elgin and Wilder retained the championship. At Beyond the Limit in July, Elgin was injured prior to a title defense, so Andrew Davies substituted for him in the match. Wilder and Davis lost the match in the GCW Tag Team Championship to Avery and Cody Dima. Also in 2007, Elgin was GCW Storyline CEO and was involved in a feud with former CEO Jamie Virtue on December 27, 2010. Elgin defeated Mike Rollins in his final GCW match. Equals Ring of Honor equals, Frabell had his first tryout match with Ring of Honor in 2007. At the The Battle of Street Pool on April 27, 2007, Elgin faced Rhett Titus in a singles match that ended in a no contest when Jimmy Rave attacked both men. Immediately afterward, Rave defeated Elgin in a singles match. Almost a year later, Elgin returned to Raw on April 18, 2008, at Tag Wars 2008, where he, Danny Daniels, and Michael Nekazor were defeated in a six man tag team match by Pell Primo. Mitch Franklin, and Ernie Osiris. Elgin's next appearance came at Survival of the Fittest 2010 and November 2010, when he made his main roster debut as part of the House of Truth faction led by Truth Martini. As part of his debut, the House of Truth, faced and lost to the Briscoe brothers and Christopher Daniels. The following night at Fate of an Angel 2, Elgin and Gowan lost to the team of Bobby Dempsey and Grizzly Redwood. After the match, Elgin attacked Gowan until Dempsey and Redwood stopped him. Elgin's next appearance was at World's Greatest on February 25, 2011, where he lost to Christopher Daniels. At the ninth anniversary show Internet Pay-Per-View the next night, Elgin lost to El Generico. He then interfered in Strong's match against Homicide, helping Strong to retain his Raw World Championship. At Defy or Deny in March, Elgin lost to Eddie Edwards and at the following show, Manhattan Mayhem 4, Elgin and Mike Mondo lost to Adam Cole and Carl O'Reilly, causing Elgin to attack Mondo. Frabell signed a contract with Roe on March 19, 2011, tying him to the company through December 2012. Elgin appeared at both days of the Honor Takes Center stage pay-per-view, defeating Generico on night one, before losing to Daniels on night two. At Best in the World 2011 in July, Elgin defeated Steve Carino. Elgin appeared at the Ring of Honor Wrestling Television tapings on August 13, losing to Edwards in a rematch from Defy or Deny. The match aired on television in October. At Tag Team Turmoil 2011, Elgin and Strong lost to the American Wolves of Davy Richards and Edwards. Elgin then appeared at the Death Before Dishonor 9 pay-per-view in September, where he lost to Charlie Haas. At the television tapings in October, Elgin and Strong lost a rematch to the American Wolves, which aired in November. On November 18, Elgin won the 2011 Survival of the Fittest Tournament. He won a four-corner survival match against Kenny King, Adam Cole, and Thomas Osiampa to advance to the tournament final, a six-man elimination match, in which he last eliminated Carl O'Reilly to win the tournament and a guaranteed Row World Championship match. At the showdown in the Sun pay-per-view on March 31, 2012, Elgin unsuccessfully challenged Davy Richards for the Raw World Championship. The match was later given a five-star rating by Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Elgin later defeated fellow breakout star Adam Cole at Border Wars, in his hometown of Toronto. On July 20, Rowe announced that Elgin had signed a long-term contract extension with the promotion. After months of teasing dissension between Elgin and the rest of the House of Truth, Elgin finally turned on the faction on September 16 at Death Before Dishonor X, State of Emergency by attacking Roderick Strong. At the following internet pay-per-view, Glory by Honor 11, The Unbreakable Hope on October 13, 
Elgin unsuccessfully challenged Kevin Steen for the Row World Championship. After the match, Elgin was attacked by Roderick Strong. The attack led to a match on December 16 at Final Battle 2012, Doomsday, where Elgin was defeated by Strong, following interference from Truth Martini. On March 2, 2013, at the 11th anniversary show, Elgin defeated Strong in a two out of three falls match, during which Martini was banned from ringside. On April 6, at Supercard of Honor 7, Elgin defeated Jay Lethal to become the number one contender to the Row World Championship. Before Elgin got his title shot however, the Row World Championship was vacated and he was entered in the tournament to determine the new champion. In August, Elgin defeated Paul London and Carl Anderson to advance to the semi-finals of the tournament. The following month, at Death Before Dishonor 11, Elgin defeated Kevin Steen to make it to the finals of the tournament, where he was defeated by Adam Cole. On October 26 at Glory by Honor 12, Elgin earned himself another shot at the Row World Championship by pinning Cole to win a 4 on 4 elimination tag team match between Row's champions and their top contenders. Elgin received his title shot on December 14 at Final Battle 2013, but was defeated by Cole in a three way match, which also included Jay Briscoe. In May 2014, Elgin took part in a tour co produced by Row and New Japan Pro Wrestling. On May 17 at War of the Worlds, Elgin unsuccessfully challenged AJ Styles for NJPW's top title, the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, in a three way match which also included Kazuchika Okada. Elgin continued to feud with Adam Cole over the Row World Championship. The storyline saw Cole attack Elgin and cut off his hair, before expanding to include Elgin's real-life wife Mischief, who Cole also attacked. On June 22 at Best in the World 2014, Elgin defeated Cole to become the new Row World Champion. Elgin would go on to defend the title seven times, before losing it to Jay Briscoe on September 6 at All-Star Extravaganza 6, ending his reign as Row World Champion at 76 days. The following day it was reported that behind the scenes Elgin had not only fallen out of favor with Row management, but was for the moment also unable to get out of Canada due to a work visa issue. On October 6, Row announced that Elgin was returning to the promotion the following weekend. However, just hours later, Elgin quit the promotion on Twitter, claiming that Roe has promoted him for an event he was not going to appear at. Elgin returned to Roe with a new disgruntled character on October 25, first walking out on an interview with Kevin Kelly and then refusing to wrestle Caprice Coleman. He made a return from NJPW with a beard and shaved head to face Silas Young. Equals Pro Wrestling Guerrilla Equals. On May 25, 2012. Elgin made his debut for Pro Wrestling Gorilla, losing to Willie Mack. On July 21st at 3 Amendus 3, PWG's nine-year anniversary event, Elgin defeated Sami Kaulin for his first win in the promotion. On September 1st, Elgin entered the 2012 Battle of Los Angeles, defeating Davey Richards in his opening round match. The following day, Elgin first defeated Brian Cage in the quarter-final round, then Ricochet in the semi-final, before losing to Adam Cole in the final round of the tournament. On October 27 at Failure to Communicate, Elgin unsuccessfully challenged Kevin Steen for the PWG World Championship in a three-way match, which also included Ricochet. On January 12, 2013, Elgin and Brian Cage formed a tag team called the Unbreakable f Machines and participated in the 2013 Dynamite Doom for a tag team title tournament. In the opening round, they captured the PWG World Tag Team Championship by beating the previous year's winners, the Super Smash Brothers. The Unbreakable f Machines then lost the championship to the Young Bucks in the semi-final round of the tournament later that same day. On August 30, Elgin entered the 2013 Battle of Los Angeles, defeating Rich Swan in his first round match. The following day, Elgin first defeated Roderick Strong and then Johnny Gargano to advance to the finals of the tournament, where he was defeated by Carl O'Reilly. Equals New Japan Pro Wrestling equals, through Rose's working relationship with NJPW, 
Elgin made his debut for the Japanese promotion by taking part in the 2015 G1 climax between July 23rd and August 15th. He finished his tournament with a record of four wins and five losses, failing to advance from his block. Elgin quickly became popular among Japanese crowds and his performance in the tournament was called a career resurgence. Personal life Frabel lived in Washawa, Ontario, Canada, but has since moved to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Frabel previously worked in construction, but required too many days off for wrestling, so had to quit. In June 2013, Frabel announced his engagement to fellow professional wrestler Rachel Collins, and they married the following month on July 4. On September 4, 2015, Collins gave birth to her and Frabel's first child, a boy named Jax. In wrestling, finishing moves, crossface, lifting double underhook DDT a Euro 2014 a Euro present, Elgin Bomb slash Revolution Elgin Bomb. Signature moves, corkscrew Sinton Bomb, Lariat, multiple suplex variations, delayed vertical, release German, waist lock rolled backwards into a German. Over the shoulder back to belly pilly driver, over the shoulder single leg Boston Crab, spinning back fist. Vertical suplex side slam. Managers, Truth Martini. Nicknames, The Canadian Crazy Horse, Unbreakable, Big Mike. Championships and Accomplishments, Absolute Intense Wrestling, AIW Absolute Championship, JT Lightning Tournament. All American Wrestling, AAW Heavyweight Championship, AAW Heritage Championship, AAW Tag Team Championship A Euro with Ethan Page. 4th AAW Triple Crown Champion Alpha 1 Wrestling, A10 Gravity Championship BSE Pro, BSE Tag Team Championship A Euro with Ashley Six Great Canadian Wrestling, GCW National Championship, GCW Tag Team Championship A Euro with Jake O'Reilly and Havoc Slash Derek Wilder Independent Wrestling Association Mid-South, IWA Mid-South Strong Style Championship Revolution Strong Style Tournament Pro Wrestling Eclipse, PWE Open Weight Championship Pro Wrestling Gorilla, PWG World Tag Team Championship A Euro with Brian Cage Pro Wrestling Illustrated, PWI ranked him number 14 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2014 Ring of Honor, Row World Championship, Survival of the Fittest Wrestling Observer Newsletter Five Star Match vs. Davy Richards on March 31. Footnotes Al Elgin initially won the championship with Havoc, but Derek Wilder replaced Havoc as Elgin's tag team partner and co champion during the reign. References External links Ring of Honor Profile Michael Elgin at the Internet Movie Database